Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor David, good afternoon. And to you, John. Pastor, uh, uh, just recently the Chinofied, the Chino Valley Unif Chinofied, the Chinofied, good. the Chinofied. I've been Chinofied. <laughs> I've been Chinofied. <laughs> yeah, you, You've been Chinofied. Are you chin <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. Uh, the Chino Valley Unified School District. Okay. Uh, recently, uh, with uh, the Shaw, what's her name? Sonia Shaw. Sonia Shaw had recently put something out that uh, that any children that feel that they're gender Conform or non-conform or transgender, that they cannot go to the school. That parents must be notified. Today, I, I read something. It says the judge, a judge, blocks Chino, Fi, Chino Valley Schools <laughs> policy of notifying about parents about LB, LGBTQ students. That's great. So he put a, a superior court judge on Wednesday ruled that the Chino Valley Unified School District must hold off enforcing a new policy requiring district officials to notify parents. What's interesting about this, Pastor, is the nonsense of all of this. How How is it that a child, if at a school, wants to receive an aspirin, they have to have parental permission? And now something so outlandish on transgender or gender nonconforming, they don't have to let parents know. You know, we've seen this in the past, though, with other things. You could take a child from the school without telling the parents and take her to have an abortion. It's interesting how how um, the government has sought to take control of the family and already has done so to some degree. So this isn't something that is new. And obviously the way that morality is established in the United States is not necessarily through the teaching, preaching, and adherence to certain philosophic truths that, that uh, will cause someone to follow these things in order to live a satisfied and peace-filled life. Uh, morals and things of that nature are very often uh, established by what is legal. You know, it's one of the mm. lowest forms of developing uh, moral reasoning. If it's legal, that must make it moral. And that's where the big fight has been for many years. The highest form of morality is a, is a, a conscience that is informed, that has a, uh, an awareness of a God, because as long as you see yourself as the only, the only and most superior uh, force ruler in the universe, then you're going to establish whatever kind of moral structure you want that adheres to the way that you think things ought to be or should be. But the ones with the deepest sense of uh, actual character, integrity, virtue, uh, these are the ones who have consciences that are informed by something that is greater than themselves. So the narcissist, which is what we now have, mm -hmm. we, we have a narcissistic society where people will do that which is pleasing to themselves without concern for the welfare of other people. That has become in many ways the infected norm. You see that as it's demonstrated when somebody furiously will post something on, uh, on uh, uh, social media that they they didn't agree with this, and therefore you should not say that because, after all, I determine what is right and wrong. I determine what is good and bad and all of that. We have seen that as it has found a more uh, obvious form as it comes through the laws and all that have been passed and the various things and rulings that superior court judges and, and all seek to impose on people. So it's not, it's not surprising to me or anybody who thinks through some of these issues, John, that that uh, that a judge would block such a thing because there has been a um, concerted effort for a generation uh, to take the children in their minds and to basically uh, move them away from what we at one time thought was a, a traditional way of thinking, something that conforms to a higher code of conduct. And so am I surprised that a judge stepped in? No. I am not surprised at all. There are so many people who are arguing today in favor of the mutilation of children. But think about it. The mutilation of children who are what? Eight, nine, 10? How about the children in the womb that were mutilated through abortion? So when you attack the innocent life in a womb, it shouldn't be surprising to us that there will be those who defend the mutilation of children once they've been born. And so I'm not surprised that some 
man with or woman with no fear of God would say, oh, these uh, children have the right to hide information from their parents and some surrogate in a school can take them and hide this obvious mental problem from a parent. And then to say, oh, it's because we're protecting the children from who? Mm -hmm. And who gave you the right to determine whether or not I as a parent should know what is going on at a school? Who gave you that right? And what moral code do you adhere to that I should respect because you're hiding my, my child and her concerns, his concerns from me? For what reason? To the destruction of that child, which it has been demonstrated over and over again that when these children go through these transitions, that they have a higher rate of suicide, right. a higher rate of, of pain in their life. You're not helping anybody except yourself mm -hmm. and some woke establishment mentality that we, the church, need to reject. And so I'm not surprised that, the, uh, that this, this judge did that because the judge is unrighteous. And you cannot expect righteous judgment from an unrighteous person. And who are those children going to go to when they're broken? Are they going to go to this establishment that's going to help them? No. no, it's going to be the parents and the families. So, yeah, it's just nonsense. And, uh, and again, not surprising as well. Not at all. Well, Pastor, thank you so much for sharing with us today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I want to invite you to our Sunday morning services at 8.30 and 10.45. And Pastor, are you still in Acts chapter 9? Yeah, I'll still be there. That's a great chapter, you guys. you got to come out and join us for that. And we look forward to having you join us again on Sunday morning. Thank you guys for tuning in, and God bless you.